Hey, I know it's been um, a lifetime, <laughs> but I've been very busy, especially with the holidays and my son leaving for the Air Force and moving and, you know, life changing. But um, <clears throat> I woke up this morning and I heard, I kept hearing over and over, and it was to remind me and maybe to remind everybody else, but um, don't let the energy around you change your energy. You have to be the one that says, you know what, I'm going to bring my energy to the table and people are going to come to me in that energy because we have more control over situations than we believe. Like there's somebody at work that kept trying to cause problems with me because he's jealous and spiteful and he does it with not just me he does it with a lot of people but I'm one of those people that don't take no shit you know and I'm gonna speak up and sorry this is shaking but um so when it comes down to it he ended up trying to start some rumors and lies and stuff like that well the truth is coming out you know because that which happens in the dark must always come to light so if you're one of those people that goes around trying to burn people so you don't look bad, knowing that you do bad, it, it's going to be illuminated at some point, you know? <clears throat> so, like I started off with, just remember, don't let the energy around you change you. Bring your energy to the table. Let people approach you in the energy in which you are in, because if they're not on the same scale with you, don't entertain them. A lot of times they're going to try to pull you down and it's not easy to stay in a high vibration. You know, when you can get yourself up, get away from the naysayers, get away from the old poor pitiful me and the neggy nellies, you know, because they're going to pull you back down. And it is a constant battle when you're around negative people, especially working in a very big store and the holidays are here and people it's weird because the closer the holiday gets the ruder people get and it's like this is supposed to be a time of cheer and giving and love and you know noticing one another and complimenting and good vibes you know it, it hasn't been that way ever since black friday it's just been like a madhouse and even before that you know i'll say since halloween <laughs> but also it has fluctuated me up and down, up and down, positive, negative, and I feel so bipolar and I'm like, eh. it's just the way that it is right now. And we have to remember that it's so easy to see that negative and let it feed us when instead we can turn around and say, you know what, here's something positive and try to bring positivity to the table because it's, it's like trying to clean dirty water, you know, over time, you can keep adding the goodness to it and then you're like, oh wow, I purified the water, it's usable now. So don't let others beat you down with their negative vibes because in the end, love wins. It, it's the story of life, you know? It's everything in this life is made out of love and it might not seem like it in the world that we live in because it's turned into greed and corruption and manipulation and <clears throat> you know, when I didn't realize that existed, I didn't notice it. And then when I was in a toxic marriage, I began to notice it. And then once I noticed it, I could not see it. And that's simply because you can't unsee that which you have seen. But with that in mind, remember that you can see positive. So don't forget that positivity and love exist as well especially in this time. And if you have no family that you're spending time with, you know, reach out to friends because when you're abundant, especially in love, your table gets longer. You know, it, it's not something that says, oh no, you're not welcome to come to my house. You're not family because that's not a loving heart. If you feel down and out, try to do something, you know, nostalgic for yourself watch a family movie you used to watch um look at old photos you know decorate a tree i know it's short notice right now but when i didn't have money for a tree and my ex didn't want to celebrate it i always got a phone book 
and we would fold the pages of it and I'd spray paint it green and that was our Christmas tree but that's also how I was raised because my parents didn't have a whole lot of money growing up or with us growing up but just don't feel defeated because love is everywhere and today I told myself I'm not going to let the negative vibes destroy the feeling I woke up in which was push back push back in love and remind people what it's about because people seem to forget and get overwhelmed with money flying out faster than it's coming in and a, the sad thing is a lot of these holidays have become corporate money makers and that's where a lot of people are just scrooges humbugs you know because <clears throat> to them what's the point you're going to go get together with family that gossips behind your back that you don't keep in touch with all year long and in the end buy a bunch of gifts that no one really needed or wanted. So just remember that it's about love, not about what you have to give. So with that being said, bring forth your positive energy, spread it among the masses and watch the world smile back at you. Sending you peace, love and light. Gotta go. Bye bye.